I am Charan. I am from Bangalore. I am a Baha'i. I belong to Baha'i community. I am here with my family for the good cause. I am supporting with the human rights. We are. This cause is for the friends of ours who are being imprisoned in the Iran. The government has imprisoned these friends without any reason, and they are violating the human rights. We are supporting for uh, for this cause. We are giving our voice with all our friends and. We want to see that our friends are released from the imprisonment. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our Classic Wilderness Activity Club, we are connecting the International Human Rights Day Road Race on 9th December 2012 on this Sunday. We are commemorating the Day of International Human Rights. Everybody is having their own rights. That will be a tribute by our Vice President, Dr. A.J. Ansari. Uh, my name is Srinath. Okay. Uh, I am from the international community of Baha'i Faith. So actually I am here to raise the voice in favor of our Baha'is in Iran. I'm Malik Arjun. I'm an ex-army officer. We have uh, actually I wanted to participate in this uh, race, which is uh, you know to express our solidarity for the human rights violation, which is you know, happening world over. My name is Tashi Chunjur. I came from Tibet. Uh, today we are participating in this marathon because uh, due to lack of human rights in Tibet. Baha'is are basically peace-loving people. They are obedient to the law of the country and they work for the progress of the society. In the extremist countries like Iran, they are the largest minority. They have been troubled in various ways. Experienced by the Baha'is in Iran especially, they have been deprived of basic education. The properties have been frozen, the bank accounts have been frozen and the, the, the youth are, you know, debarred from attending their uh, colleges and universities. The first reason is I wanted to be part of uh, this human rights uh, group. Uh, human rights is very important to me. So whatever I am, I am a human being first. And I also know about Baha'is. Oh, humaneness is the basic uh, concept of Baha'is and I believe in humanism. Uh, therefore, I am here uh, representing all the human beings. Everybody is excited about today and uh, I'm a woman. So I want to join them and uh, take it as a day that uh, I can cheer all the women, girls, so I joined today's race. We are on the same boat, so it's not like we are ask, we are not getting their support. We are here to expect your support, the support of the world, not we are all together in this. This was for human rights, that was the only reason. Uh, one of your colleagues is that she represents your Dr. Ansari and they represent this human rights and they also they represent this Baha'i group. And they asked me, would you run for human rights? I didn't think twice. I said, Baha'i. Basic thing is to emphasize on the human rights issues which have been going on worldwide. And secondly, also of the persecution of the Baha'is in Iran. They have been massacred, butchered, their families uprooted. And this has been going, going on in the name of the Islamic Revolution. I mean, the basic convention of national convention of human rights internationally has to, has to be respected. Baha'is in international community and Baha'is are there all over the world in 
Iran, they are the largest minority since it is the cradle of the faith. So, it's fanatism. Fanatism. And uh, if they independently investigate the truth, understand the faith, I think we are this going to start now with the should to a greater extent extend the respect. Actually, we are participating in this mission for the solidarity of our Tibetan, uh, Tibetan warriors who died for our country. Uh, since from 2009, 90, above 94, uh, above 92% have burned themselves self immolation for the country. First thing would be to no gain knowledge about these things and uh, just, just do something, not sit around, just do something. Whatever it is, in small way, like participating in a run or maybe even just voicing your thoughts in a camera or you know writing about it something whatever way see everybody is busy but in whatever way they can do it's a voice my name is dr ansari and i'm a dermatologist a doctor's skin specialist by profession uh, and uh, i'm a bahai present We are all humans and we are all brothers and sisters. Please treat us equally like you. We are one among you. To raise the voice for the Baha'is of Iran, we are all gathering here and even men and women, they are having equality. That's been uh, told in our faith. Well, you know, uh, the, the Baha'i faith, the Baha'i faith is an international religion. And the members of the Baha'i faith are uh, members of the international community, the family, Vasudeva uh, Kutumba. So therefore, we, uh, any, any member in trouble, any Baha'i in any country in trouble, would definitely uh, make us get worried. So we are concerned about the health of the Baha'is of Iran. You know, in India, we have the maximum number of the Baha'is in any country. And it's a, we have a large community here. A lot of them, hundreds and thousands, were persecuted. And uh, recently, many have been imprisoned, all because they follow the Baha'i religion. The children have been debarred from classes, from attending school. The youth have been deprived of admission to college and they have also been, and those who were working earlier have been taken out of work. Employment has been deprived to them. Their bank, the bank accounts of Baha'is have been freezed. Right from the beginning, uh, from the time of the inse inse uh, inception of the Baha'i faith, uh, from 169 years, the Baha'is have been always a uh, target of persecution by the clergy and by the governments in Iran. Today, we have hundreds of Baha'is in jail, in prison, uh, in prison just because of their faith, just because they believe in the Baha'i faith. Our properties in Iran are being confiscated. Uh, the graveyards being dug, they don't even spare the, the, the dead. They dig the graveyard and destroy the Baha'i burial ground. We call it Golistan. Uh, human rights per kendra adrally now, as it is, adu helo prakarane helta means namma undo prati undo citizen do. We cannot uh, separate it from them. So, hage, uh, so navu, uh, as a police officers, we have a lot of people who are in the 
ರೈಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಇದು ಬಂದರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಡೆತಡೆಗಳೇನಾದರೂ ಬಂದರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಅವರು ಖಂಡಿತ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಕೇಳೋ ಅವರ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಬಂದಾಗ ಖಂಡಿತ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು the universities refuse to educate the children who are bahais who mention in the application form that they they are adherents or followers of the bahai faith bahais are not given any job in the government there is a systematic uh, plan of the uh, the government of iran uh, in order to persecute oppose and suppress the bahai community in iran message of the father of the nation mahatma gandhi mohandas karamchand gandhi one great nation one great people without distinction of caste color and creed why don't we spread that message internationally